So it says here, find the value of E. So E is this angle here. This is known as an exterior angle because we extend this line along here, we get what's known as an exterior angle. Now there are two ways to actually to solve this problem. Let's just uh, look look at this for, to begin with. Method one. If we look at this triangle here, and then we add in this angle here, we're going to call that one I, I for interior. Then we know the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So forming an equation, we have I plus 32 plus 46 is equal to 180. So that gives me I plus 78, which is 32 plus 46 is equal to 180. And then subtracting 78 from both sides of that equation, we get that I is equal to 102. E we can find very easily because we know that E plus I is equal to 180. This is angles on a straight line. And therefore, E plus 108, because I is 108, is equal to 180. Subtracting 180 from both sides, we get that E is equal to 78 degrees. Now, that's one way of doing it. Now, you might have noticed that if you actually add these two and these two together, you get 78. And that's always true for a triangle. So this is method two. Note, E will always be equal to A plus B in any triangle. So this is known as an exterior... The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum, I mean, add together, of the opposite two interior angles. That means that this angle here will always be equal to the sum of the opposite two interior angles. So knowing that fact, we can say that E straight away is 32 plus 46, which is equal to 78, which is much less working out, obviously, than what we did over here. So just repeat, E is equal to the sum of the opposite two interior angles. So sometimes you're given that angle and given that angle and you're asked to find that angle and therefore you have to use this idea.